What's up guys, this is your boy Rusi and welcome to YouTube Basics. So today we're going to be taking a look at the things that you should pay attention and actually worry about before you even start a YouTube channel. And those are things that probably going to help you to stay on YouTube for longer, uh, not commit the same mistakes I did. Uh, some mistakes I don't feel they're mistakes, there are more things that I wish I had known before. So let's get to it. Oh, you just one second. Incoming call from the year 2070 from... Russian. Do you accept? Uh, yeah. Connecting. Alright, let me put this on the screen for you guys to see. Whoa! What's up, guys? This is your boy, Russian. Oh, well. I guess I'm not a boy anymore. Wow, so 2070. You don't look that bad for your age, so uh, how's the future, right? Well, I can't tell you guys much without the whole raping a hole on the space-time continuum. But I can tell you that today we just reached 10,000 subscribers. No, I, I'm sure he means, you know, 10 million subscribers. Oh, no, no. Um, a hundred thousand. Uh, no. Uh, okay, let me get that on the side. Uh, but... Um... Let me roll the credits. Alright guys, so we're back and... You know, I hope you guys like the little skit ahead before we actually start this thing. Um, I'll let you guys know later uh, how to do those type of things. Uh, I'll cover it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. But l let me know in the comments. But that brings me to my first point, and it's fun. Look, if you can't have fun while doing something on YouTube, you should not start. Um, basically because a lot of people don't actually realize YouTube's a lot of work. So if you're doing something you don't actually enjoy and you're doing that because it's something that is trending right now, it's probably not going to be good for you. Um, and the reason I say that is I had things that uh, I done the channel that I had a lot of fun. And the problem is those are things that they were fun for a little while. And after a bit, you are just sick of it. So that's when I had my first burnout um, a little over a year ago. And it's really bad. That's when you kind of go into make videos every day. And then it just stopped for like two months. And the people that usually are subscribed to you, well, some people are going to get worried about what happened to you. But a lot of people will just leave you. So careful with what you choose to do because you know you still need to be able to have some fun if you start a channel you know it may be for a year so don't choose something that it's fun right now but in a month from now you're just gonna be tired of but that actually bring me to my second point and it's you will not get famous overnight now I'm not saying that some people won't get famous overnight. It happens. Some videos may explode on the internet and you may get a million subscribers overnight. Not gonna happen. I never heard of someone, but I heard of people that within just a few months, they're able to actually achieve a million subscribers or close to the number. Now, the reason why I say that is everybody starts YouTube and they kind of feel, you know, I put a great video, it's my first video, I have zero subscribers, but somehow tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and I have a thousand subscribers. And a lot of SEO uh, YouTube channels will tell you, oh, you know, just uh, get a hundred subscribers overnight. Piss a cake, sure. And they will prove to you by creating a channel and overnight they have almost a thousand subscribers. Okay, let me explain one thing. And they will say, well, we're not going to do shout outs in our own channel, A, B, and C, that's fine. But one thing they're going to do is they're going to go to social media because that's what you should do if you start YouTube. 
and their social media is kind of inflated. Um, if you don't have a YouTube channel, if you're not an influencer in some type of way, I really doubt you have a million people subscribed to your Instagram or anything like this. But those people, uh, they just go in there, they put a simple video, and they get a thousand subscribers. That's pretty much how they do. Not going to happen to you, but it should not actually make you stop doing YouTube just for that. You see, you have millions of channels. All right, so just factual numbers tracked by Social Blade right now. You have 47.4 million creators. Now, they don't track anything with less than a certain number of subscribers. It may be five, maybe something like that. So let me say total of 50 million uh, YouTube accounts. So a lot of times for you to be picked up, for people to actually see your channel in front of them, it may take a little while and you know uh, you you just should not let it stop your momentum always remember the first video you may have put a lot of work and think it's a it's great it's amazing you made an amazing video and it's not getting picked up that's fine with time you're gonna have other subscribers and those people are gonna go back to this video so don't stress too much about time just don't stop working because most accounts on YouTube are actually kind of like abandoned and it's because people just gave up those let me say 50 million um, YouTube accounts don't mean they're actually active accounts it means that people post some videos uh, after a month or so they just gave up what they're doing and that brings to my next point what is your channel about so I had the hardest time in the beginning to figure out because so my whole plan when I left the military was come to Brazil for a few months, then start traveling the world. Um, but I was counting with that, that I was going to be able to start my school, that I had been accepted already. But I had problems with uh, some of my high school paperwork, what kind of delayed everything. And I couldn't actually do what I was set out to do in the beginning. Now, travel is not cheap unless you get like a really good sponsor uh, let me say a flight company and you're gonna talk about destinations that they sponsor all that stuff you're in trouble so a lot of the money gonna have to come out of you now maybe you are a flight attendant and you go to a lot of destinations you don't have anybody sponsoring you but you can actually talk about this place that would be great. You may be a bus driver of an interstate, like, let me say ground, uh, Greyhound, right? And you could talk about the place you stop. So you can't do that in a low budget, but you kind of have to see if you're there. The other thing is gaming. Gaming is not as oversaturated as some people think. Now, what you have to do in gaming, you, you really need to focus on something. Like, for example, I run games in low-budget computers. AAA games from 2020, 2021. And I try to show people how to actually do it, if they should even put money on the game and stuff like this. And I love it. That's something I can do. I have done Reddit reads. And I actually enjoy doing that. The problem is you start seeing that there's... At the time, there are a lot of channels doing that. A lot of the stories were the same. And I didn't want to make content that everybody's doing. Okay, now, next thing. And this is kind of important. Um, your look's going to have a lot to do with how well you do. Um, now, I'm not saying fully uh, being good looking, be ugly. But it's proven by psychology that... If you're good looking, you have more chance for people to like you. Now, even if you're not like me, for example, um, one of the things you have to think is how you look right now. Do your hair. Don't be completely unshaven unless that's the look you want to present people. Uh, at least comb your hair, uh, wear a hat if you don't feel comfortable with something that those are very important things also 
think about where you're going to record. You do need enough light. If you don't have lights, if you don't have stuff like that, just record outside. And make sure to follow uh, a couple of basic rules, like the light being in front of you, not behind you. Because if the light's behind you, nobody can see you. Unless that's where you're going for. So, a couple of things to think, um, you know, and it will enhance the look of your videos and of yourself. And now, really quick on a side note, when I mention about you need to know what your channel is going to be about, one of the most important reasons for that is it will dictate what equipment you need. One thing a lot of people do, and it's a huge mistake, is people get addicted to get gear. Now, I did this um, when I came to Brazil only because I knew I probably would need lights. So I bought a couple of lights because I knew in Brazil would be hell on earth for me to actually purchase them. Um, and I don't mean even about the price that is really bad in here, but I just wouldn't be able to find what I needed. Now, I think the last point I should hit is careful to the people you listen to. So, like I said in the beginning, a lot of people will actually tell you that, you know, when you, if you ask them, should I start a channel right now? What do I do to start? And they're going to pretty much tell you, just start. The problem with just start you don't even know if you have the stuff you need. Those people are saying that, not knowing what type of videos you're going to do. Most of them, when they say just start, they mostly mean vlogging. Yeah, if you want to vlog, just start. I guarantee every single person in the entire universe has a phone. So if you want to start vlogging, you can just start. People who have big secrets of how to break into YouTube and get lots of subscribers really fast. Careful listening to them. Um, there are some decent channels and I will cover some good channels uh, probably in later videos, but they actually teach you stuff. But even on those channels, you have to learn how to go through and see what is really important, what they really have to add to you. And sometimes what do they have to add to you right now? Because if you have zero subscribers, 90% of the stuff they're going to tell you will not apply. If you have 10,000, it's a complete different story. Maybe 100% of what they have to say will apply to you. So careful, very careful with that. Now, who should you listen to? Well, and that's like a two-edged sword, but you should listen to the people that actually watch your videos. Now, you do have to have really thick skin on YouTube. A lot of people are going to throw you. Uh, mostly are people that have small channels, just like you. And I really don't get that because they'll do that. Kind of thinking that if they dislike your video, they're going to get more subscribers. What really... Uh, your channel, um, small channels don't really compete as much as you may think. So you will hear that. And sometimes you're going to hear some criticism and you do have to step back and think if the people are right or wrong. For example, audio. I could not fix the audio in many ways. In Brazil, to get foam to put in the walls, it would be... <laughs> I'm not going to make that money in two years of YouTube, even if I explode in YouTube. Brazil is horrible with some of that stuff. Very expensive. Uh, it wouldn't be worth it. So I end up finding out. Cheap microphone. Hey, works fine. Just have to fix a little bit of the audio in audition. And it's great. So listen to those people. Someone may say, hey, dude, um, you know, your wall is like, really kind of bland and sometimes what it takes is for you to buy a poster and put it in the back i actually use blue light to take the white of the wall a little bit off i usually have my screen here 
where I put something that I'm talking about. If I'm talking about game, I usually put a poster of the game in there. If I'm talking about YouTube, there you go. So just break a little bit. Sometimes I use a red light. It's not a red light. It's cheap plastic on top of an LED. So you can do things on the cheap. It's very easy, but do listen to the people. Um, because honestly, they're the ones watching your channel. And most of them actually want to help you. For the most part, I think that's what I had for you guys today. I know you guys probably have a lot of questions and probably some of you are like, dude, I got half of what he said. I'll blame that on my PTSD. Hey, it's life. You know, just deal with it. But again, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys have any opinions of how you would like me to better this type of videos, maybe go a little bit slower, may put some nice graphs and pictures and things like this, you know, let me know if you guys like me to do skits in the beginning of the video, may not be every video, some of them take longer than others, but I'll work on that. Um, again, you know, hit that uh, bell notification button thing, and as always, well, I can't say I'll see you in the game, but I'll see you in the channel.